this step. This one. So customer pricing procedure. You can see there are 23 entries here. Okay, it is just a text field. Uh, you are asking uh, Nagesh, what exactly do you mean by zero one? There is no further value. It is just the text. Based uh, on this text. Yeah. Uh, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt. I understood uh, about this uh, zero one is a I mean procedure zero one is a text, but what exactly this zero one represents? I just wanted to know. No, but no, there is no BC... this is all text. Whatever you want to maintain, it will resemble that. Uh, and that's what like what I want to maintain is once again I will be maintaining in the condition records itself, isn't it? No, no, no. See, this is not for condition record. This is what is the purpose of this customer pricing procedure? Uh, this this specific, I mean, like uh, for this customer, use this procedure for the pricing procedure. For example, oh. if I would have said zero two, it will it will consider the zero two as the pricing procedure, isn't it? Exactly. So, how will you decide which one you want to use? So, first of all, whenever you are working on a project, you will ask the customer what are the different pricing procedures you have for different customers. Okay, so right. for example, do you have a separate pricing for domestic customers, foreign customers? Within domestic also, do you have a separate pricing procedure within state, outside state, right? Or maybe do you have a separate pricing procedures for customers to whom you are selling the materials and customers who are you, uh, you are using to sell the services? So this kind of, first of all, you will identify how many of those pricing procedures you want. And now, you want to make sure that each customer is assigned to their respective pricing procedures. Okay. So you will come here and based on whatever is the requirement, you will be setting up those many customer pricing procedures. Here. Just a text. Okay. okay, just a text I'll maintain. But uh, exactly what is uh, what is the procedure like a zero? What is the difference between zero one and zero two? Where can I see this? That's what I wanted to know. Okay, 0, 1 and 0, 2, you'll not be able to see the difference here. 0, 1 and 0, 2, you will be assigning to the pricing procedure. This is your customer pricing procedure. Based on this, you will be deciding the pricing procedure, which will be defaulted in the sales order. Okay. okay. Let me show you. So if I go back from here, so here you define your customer pricing procedure and here you assign. Okay. So set determination. What you will do is here you will tell the system, if my customer pricing procedure is 0, 01, oh, in this okay. case, uh, no, I understood here. Oh, sorry. Now, like sales area, I will define, and then the doc, whatever customer pricing procedure I have defined 0, 01, I mean, uh, assigned there, I'll come here, assign this. And for this, what pricing procedure I have to do, like here in this case, first line, it says 18 CBCL as the pricing procedure for that set of uh, that, that combination. Uh, right. Just an right? example. Yeah, okay. just take an example. Your customer said, I have two different pricing procedures, one for domestic mm -hmm. customers, second for foreign customers. Right. So first of all, you will be creating two customer pricing procedures. And here, you will be creating pricing procedures. In this, the conditions within this pricing procedure would be relevant for domestic values. And here, mm -hmm. the conditions within this pricing procedure would be relevant to the international customers. Mm -hmm. Right, right. right. Okay, ultimately Sorry. conditions are maintained here in pricing procedure. Those are not maintained in this customer pricing procedure. So okay. if you see hmm. this pricing procedure, then you'll be able to see the difference, like how it is different. Right, right, right. I understood. So, so I, I was a bit you... confused whether zero one will have some procedure as such. Right. No. Procedure is a generic. We will be uh, mapping that procedure that procedure to respective customer and the document types, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, right, right. Uh, sorry, now I am clear. Thank you. Okay. See, same way you also have document pricing procedure. So, 46, what we are assigning to our sales documents. Again, this is generic. So, it is like same customer. Let's take this example. Same customer is buying goods also from you, services also from you. So, whenever you are selling the services, you will use separate order type. Whenever you are selling the normal goods, you will be using order type OR, for example. Right. So in that case, the same customer, there is document pricing procedure is only one because you are assigned at the customer master data. But based on what services he is buying from you, which sales order you are using, which sales order type you are using, you want to have two separate pricing procedures. In that case, you will be creating a document pricing procedure. Is it clear now? Yeah, yeah. Understood. Thanks.
okay now let me go to again to the master data this one we will talk about this is our next topic uh, which is rebate processing which uh, i'm going to take it together with mm okay rebate processing in ecc was different the same rebate processing in s4 hana will not work at all so we will understand how the new rebate processing works let me go to the shipping tab now in the shipping tab we have a delivery priority i think we already discussed this back order processing and all okay delivering plant if you remember this also we discussed at the time of atp check available to promise check availability check whenever you create a sales order system will perform the availability check in which plant so the plant information in the sales order can be entered manually whenever i am creating the sales order let's assume i am in the sales order screen now if i try to create a new sales order okay press enter this is my customer okay this is my material quantity let me enter other values also test payment terms in quote terms and this one so these are the mandatory fields enter so first of all i am not able to proceed here because the system is not able to determine the pricing procedure so get to get rid of this error there are only two options number one i need to maintain this combination in the pricing procedure or number two i need to maintain the customer pricing procedure so that the right combination is already available okay so again i need to go back because this will not proceed i think let me try no it will not proceed because it is still believing that the customer is assigned to 01 so va01 enter now i should not get that error payment term inco term test material quantity okay if i press enter see by default system may not be able to determine the plant let's see if it is determined system is not able to determine the plant so if i want to determine this plant automatically okay this can be determined with the combination first is customer material combination if you have created a customer material master data in that combination let me show you the customer material combination also which is normally created we normally create a customer material combination when when customer is giving you the po customer is not entering your material number he is entering his material number so if you want to create a mapping that when customer is saying this material in sap we mean this material so customer material number to our material number if you want to create that combination or even if you want to maintain the rates also then normally we use this customer material info record so you will go to sales and distribution master data business partner and here you should be able to see the combination of customer and material there is that combination so products material This, these are to create the material if i go to business partner customer this is to create a customer these are old transactions you already know these transactions are not going to work in s4 hana uh, do you remember what is the transaction code for customer material anyone uh, vd51 i guess vd51 right so i don't remember the transaction code right vd51 is a transaction code for customer material info record so this customer this sales organization this distribution channel if i press enter i can maintain you can see the material number this is our sap material number to the customer material number so whenever whenever we are selling this material it's assumed trading goods too for customer this might be some other name this might be some other code so whenever let me try this test trading goods tg so whenever you will try to use this in the sales order system will automatically determine your material number let me try okay so now 
if I go to sales order, okay, and instead of maintaining this material, if I say test underscore TG, and if I press enter, obviously this is only possible when you refresh it. So VA01 or sold to party, this is fine. Payment terms, in code terms. And if I enter this material, have I saved it? Or saved this customer, this distribution channel? This combination already exists. Sorry, I need to enter in customer material number here. Customer material number, then it will pick automatically. Yes, you can see it has picked automatically. Trading goods too. So that is a feature of customer material number. So coming to the delivery plant, the delivery plant. Second priority is given to material. So if I go to the material master, even in the material master also, you have a default delivery plant. So whenever any customer is requesting you this material, by default from which plant this material should be delivered that you can enter in the material master. So if I go to transaction MM02 for this particular material, and if I deselect all, let me just take sales area details, enter okay so this is where you would be able to see the delivering plant so customer material info is not having delivery plant even the material master is not having delivery plant and the last priority is given to the customer master data in the customer master data also if you don't have the delivery plant by default then system will not be able to derive this delivering plant automatically in case of creation of sales order, right? That is the reason system is not able to derive the plant. If I maintain this either in customer info record, or if I maintain it in the material master, or if I maintain in the customer master data, then system will be able to determine the plant. Okay, let's try. Let's try to maintain it the material or in the uh, customer master data. Uh, Vikram, one query. Yes, Abhilash. Yeah. So, uh, like uh, in customer master, I think uh, if we maintain ship to party, uh, whether do we get this plant or uh, if we maintain in any partner function, we, we will get this plant. I guess uh, if we maintain ship to party only, we will get this plant, I guess, right? If you maintain ship to party, ship to party is for the customer. Maybe it's within, no, no, in ship. Uh, in ship to part like uh, so, uh, here we have sold to party and ship to party number as same uh, so if we have ship to party number as different uh, yes. then we need to maintain only in the ship to party uh, right 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 you are right see what happens is in this case the same customer is our bill to party same customer is our ship to party let's assume if our bill to party is different and ship to party is different then in the partner functions you'll be able to see You'll be able to see my bill to party is this, but maybe my ship to party is different. So if my let's assume if my ship to party is 98, then even if I maintain this in 97, this will not be considered. System will only consider because the shipping needs to be done to whom? Shipping needs to be done to 98. So only from the 98 customer, this delivery plot will get automated, will get defaulted. Right, Ablash? Ah, yes, yes, Vikram. That's what I want to uh, tell. Yes. So this is based shipping. Whatever settings we are maintaining in shipping, this is only applicable for ship to party. If your ship to party is different, then this information related to shipping needs to be maintained in that particular business partner. Right. So let try me. Let me try to save it. Once I save it, now if you see, whenever you create a new sales order. System will automatically determine the plant. It will not ask you.